Apollo 12 was Pete Conrad and Alan Bean, and they were two Navy uh, guys, and uh, they were going to fly uh, into the moon. But on that mission, the backup crew came to me and they said, Ernie, these two guys are a little tight, so uh, how about you uh, doing us a favor? And on the cuff checklists, each one of these guys had a cuff list, and it told them a hint of what was coming up next and how long to take and what to call Houston. They said, Ernie, we need something to liven things up on that one. I said, well, okay, I'll, what he wants is, can you put some cartoons on there? And I had been drawing cartoons on the schedules. So I drew some little basic cartoons that looked like a little cross between a, a mouse and a uh, shmoo, but we gave him the name Snoopy. And I showed a little Snoopy jumping out of the lunar module going, wee, boom, landing, clear sand. He could put his prints all over the thing. And one of the things that was packed on the flight crew equipment was a French video camera with a beautiful lens. The French developer said, be careful, don't drop it, don't break it, do not point it to the sun because it'll burn the filament out and you got no pictures. Apollo, Apollo 12 has no videos from the ground operations because as soon as they got on the ground, Pete looked at the camera and he said, yeah, that sun looks good. And he pointed the camera to the sun and the camera went, mmm, it died. Pete goes out there and he's humming around and humming. Then he'd go into this wild laughter of his and then he'd do something else and do something else and laughing like crazy. Pete Conrad was looking at the comic books and laughing to himself. And as soon as he came in from his EVA, he went right up into the cabin, closed the door, and he says, I've already gone through all of mine. Let me see yours. And they sat up there and they were supposed to do other things, but they were there reviewing the comic books on their uh, cuff checklists. So that became a big joke on Apollo 12. They didn't have any video, but they had comic books. I'm Ernie Reyes, and these are my untold stories from the Rocket Ranch.